Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to properly edit a JPEG. People who say that, you know, you shouldn't edit in JPEG and you should always shoot in RAW and then um, and then to, in order to create the best quality image possible, you know, even though they are true, but that doesn't mean that you should stop shooting in JPEG uh, because and it's almost like illegal to shoot in JPEG. I'm going to show you that an image that shot on Fuji XT20 and it's a 2 megabyte image that can be brought back in life uh, from a JPEG. Now, my step number one would be that in Luminar Neo, uh, I'm going to upscale it. So I'm going to drag this image or in order into the upscale extension and click select two times. I don't need four times or six times, just so two times is enough. And then um, click upscale and it should give me a good enough image already. Then after that, it's just about a time. Basically, I can stay in Luminar Neo and then continue to edit or I can just export it um, somewhere. If you have Lightroom or if you have, you know, Capture One or similar, then you can actually edit there. You know, it took just a little bit of time to upscale already. And it's now a 19 megabyte JPEG image with a lot of pixels. Now, you know what, I'm gonna, for simplicity's sake, I'm going to stay in Luminar Neo and go to the Edit tab. Then, of course, you know, bright sky and dark foreground, you quite have to do, you have to do quite the opposite of it. You need a darker sky and the brighter shadow. So I can go all the way down to Super Contrast, slide up the highlight contrast to let's say 50, that should give me 50 to 70. Let's see what it's taking. And then I can go to shadow contrast where it's going to bring some shadow back in life. Uh, in order to give some more punch, I can go to the creative, then relight AI. Then you have two slides brightness near and brightness far so i can pull up the brightness near tab see what is giving me and see what is the effect at this point it's taking a little bit of time to give me some sort of effect and there you go now we are talking now i can just pull it to the arc de triomphe you can see that it's actually not that bad at all so i'm going to brightness far i'm going to pull it down quite a little bit and let's see what it's giving me there you go yep it's just about right so brightness far maybe i'm gonna pull it down and let's see yep it's, it's doing a good job it's doing a very very good job so i'm gonna fine tune a little bit i know that i have some blown out uh, highlights on the sky but come on it's, it's just totally fine also after that i'm going to you know bring some more brightness at the foreground that's my uh, ultimate goal in this image so i could go to the develop section and then you know go to the mask then select the mask ai and the, the 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 concept is that the 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 star of this image is the arc de triomphe in paris so that should be the most brightest part of this image and everything else should be quite darker it's more like a dodge and burn kind of thing the idea is to basically uh to help you you know bring the main subject into the brightness and everything else kind of like a part of the image but that's about it so let's see which one it is selected so human you can hear my laptop is kind of all over the place because it takes a lot of resource to do all that there's a lot of uh, mm, a lot of uh, you know powerful action going on so my mask ai should select some part of it 
and let's see if it's working. So there's a little bit of bug because I just selected the develop AI and then clicked the mask AI. It's kind of taking at the first try, it didn't really you know select what I wanted to be selected. So I'm going to wait and see exactly if this try is gonna work. So this is where the it's nothing to do with the JPEG editing, but the Luminar Neo um sometimes shows a lot of bug which you know it has a lot of promises but it's not stable enough in my opinion so this time i'm going to see exactly where it's taking me well seems like that my mask ai is refusing to work which is kind of unfortunate so what i can do i'm going to move on to the sharp and super sharp ai and click low and I'm going to sharpen the image first and then manually uh, select the architecture and then brighten it in order to make it to life so you see what I mean uh, it's sometimes kind of frustrating that this software comes with a lot of promise but for whatever reason sometimes it doesn't work especially I'm recording a video and it's not working where probably tomorrow if i try it again it's going to work so you know these type of things are not really useful if it doesn't work when it needs to be but you know it is what it is and i'm going to try to work around it well i actually had to turn off close the software and then turn it back on during the recording in order to make this work and seems to be when I select the uh, the mask is actually working. So uh, you know, kind of warning if you are looking to kind of um, uh, you're trying to use the masking, it will be frustrating, and sometimes it might not work. So you may have to kind of uh turn it on and off well this is what it is so i'm going to slightly pull it back up not too much without giving any artifacts and then i'm going to go back to mask action and invert no not invert copy and then paste and then invert not now okay i have to go back i think somewhere else and then come back go back to mask paste and then invert now it should be fine and reduce the exposure a little bit just as slightly not too much then turn up smart contrast and finally we do have our monument came back to life only thing i can do i'll go down to dodge and burn and then click darken pick up the size a little bit and do the sky so that the sky gets a little bit dark not too much just a little bit and i'll come back to not noise sorry exposure and then pull this global exposure a little bit high and i'll go to x enhance and turn up the enhance as well and i'm going to show you before and after so that's before and that's after so before and after so in luminar neo you can actually easily upscale an image and bring a beautiful jpeg back to life without any side hassle so this is my little video and you also kind of learned that sometimes the software is buggy it might not work as you intend to so be careful sometime you need to close the software and turn it back on
other than that it's a fantastic software to edit i encourage you to try and i see you in future videos bye bye